What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here, so today we're going to be checking out more of your Funko Pop collections. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Funko Pop video. Today we're going to be checking out more subscribers collections. It's been a little bit of a while since I've done one of these and you guys seem to thoroughly enjoy it, so I did another one. Now today we picked 50 different collections. I think I must have had around 200 submissions, but I couldn't possibly put every single one in a video. But don't worry guys, we will do more of these videos in the future. Now we are taking some inspiration from Top Pops aka Tristan, where he did actually rate his subscribers collections and we're going to be rating your collections today out of 10. And we're going to be using three different categories to make up your score, which is viewability, display, and neatness. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, so today Bailey is joining me in rating your collections. Now, we're redoing this video because she said I was a little too harsh on some of my <laughs> ratings, apparently. I think I was taking it a little too serious and not having as much fun with it as I should have. Though I did have fun and you guys have fantastic collections, but we're going to take another closer look here and uh, we're actually going to be adding bonus points in different areas as well. So... Yeah, I'm basically redoing this video. It took me like an hour and a half last time. So at least I know to do it a little bit better and to rate everything a little bit better and what to look for so it won't take me as long. Anyways, though, do you have anything to say? I'm super excited to see all of your collections and yeah. Also, she may have said I was a little harsh, but just wait. So this first one we do have is underscore mojo 58. So I really like their, um, we're going to take turns talking by the way, but I really like their like, collection display and how it's kind of sorted into different characters from different franchises, a couple signed ones in there, and they do have a, real, a lot of really great characters. I think I'm seeing a soul pre-release all the way on the left. Mm -hmm. And then being above the bed kind of worries me a little bit because it, it feels <laughs> a little dangerous. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I'm going to dock, personally, I'm going to dock a point there. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10. That's mm -hmm. the same rating as the last time I did it, just because I think it looks really great. I like the shelves you used. I think these are those display geek shelves if i'm not if i'm not mistaken excuse me and they always look really good when you kind of like hang them but i don't think it's those exact shelves anyways though bailey you let me know what your rating is first i really like the leds by your bed i don't think you mentioned that um but i really like them i'm sure it looks great when it's turned off i think it would be really dope too if eventually you put leds on the top of the pop shelves as well so that's a suggestion if you feel like it but yeah i like the way you section it off and i'd probably give it the same rating as you next up we do have anything cultures collection here so i really like the spider-man collection first of all i like the spider-man like prints and arts up above the cool little posters on the side there and then you do have the like the popcorn buckets on the top right and then just going down the collection you have a lot of different characters from multiple different franchises i i noticed that like the pops on the side I got rid of my shelves because personally, I do not like that. I don't like putting the pops on the side because I feel like it messes mm -hmm. up with seeing the actual characters. And then you do have that one little shelf down the middle there. I feel like that could be utilized a little bit better than just putting a pop. I think there's pops behind those. I don't know. Does that look like it with that Transformers one? Uh, maybe that one, but it doesn't look like that for any of the others. But I, I feel like out of box and maybe like an LED, like in each end of did in each individual one, excuse me, and putting it in there, I think would look really cool. And then you do have kind of like between the basketball ones down there, like uh, right here, you have that like weird gap almost. Mm -hmm. I feel like it messes up as you're kind of looking at it, but at least it's like really neat. Yeah. And it matches on both sides, so it's like symmetrical. But I think I'm gonna give this collection. I'm going to go for an 8.5 out of 10 on this 8 .5. one. 8.5. I would probably give this an 8, and here's why. First, I want to recognize that I like how you're using depth kind of at the top of the shelf. See how much more articulated <laughs> she is? She's saying all these words like depth and like all these bigger, I don't know, anyways, go ahead. Um, I like that you're using the bigger pops, the six inches and the moments up on the top left where you have some of your anime pops, like, which is it? They're not Dragon Ball. Naruto, what's that one called? Over here? Yes, Demon Slayer. Demon there Slayer. There's, there's and a, AOT. Yeah, there's a mix. Uh, and, oh, there's also One Piece up there. Oh, and then you have One Piece right underneath it, too. See, that was smart. I like how you're using the bigger ones as kind of like base stands to also highlight the ones that you really wanted to highlight up at the top. The only reason why I'm saying an 8 and not an 8.5 of, like, Skittle Rampages here is because there are certain ways you can use pops in box to create more visual interest and though i think you did a really good job at the top there was probably some other ways you could do it further down so that's the only reason why i'm taking away like the half point 
regarding the pops on their side, I think it's honestly just the size of your shelf there, so I wouldn't dock any points for that. I totally understand putting them on their I side. I didn't dock any points for that. You didn't? I was just saying I don't like it. Okay, that's like, fair. I, that's like <laughs> that's the wrong. sole reason I got rid of the Billy book cases. The uh, the Billy book IKEA ones because you have mm. to do that on the sides. I just don't like those ones. So I don't know what this one is because it's like a it's a very wide shelf. I've never seen that. It actually looks like a TV Wait. center that they transformed Ash. into. Oh, that's creative. Fun. I think maybe I don't know. Interesting. I don't know though. I, I'm I'm going with eight point five. She's going with an eight. Next up, we do have CMQGS's collection here. So. A lot of out of box going on. They do have the acrylic risers, I think, from Amazon, which do look pretty cool. And it does look like they're using some on every single shelf. The only thing I will say that I'm going to dock some points on are the pops on the side for Korra. You can't really see what those characters are, and they're kind of just on the side compared to the rest of them. And then you have the one acrylic shelf over there that's really cool with all the different avatar characters. Do they have all the My Hero Academia out of box? I don't think so. Do you see Momo over there? Because like I'm seeing Momo and then one other character that I don't think is out of box, so they kind of get blocked. Yeah. You can't see those characters. They also don't have Icy Hot. They don't? No. Oh, yeah. So he... So yeah, we're seeing some pops like that are still in box on the back that you can't exactly see out of box, so I feel like that messes with the display a little bit. That's I think the Naruto's pretty good because you can see every character. On the right there, you see a sword art online, and then you have like a little figure and the swords there, which is a really nice touch. And then the Fire Force, you can see everything, some manga down there, and then Inuyasha as well as the Squid Games pop. So... I think this one, uh, I think I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 just because of the display issues down below as well as not being able to see all your characters from the My Hero collection. But maybe she'll give you something higher. I think that's a fair score. I like how you are mixing it up between inbox and out of box. <clears throat> uh, the only recommendation I would personally make is I'm, I don't know if you have a certain pop line that's coming in and you're trying to make space for it. And that's why the Naruto ones are all the way over to the left. But personally, what I do in my display is I like to have as much of the box showing without it being like gray in the background does that make sense so i would take your naruto pops and actually face them with the backs facing out and stack them so then you have more color as a display so it gives it a little bit more visual interest than just like you just seeing the top of the boxes and then it kind of ends does that make sense but beyond that i really like your little mini swords for sao and i love seeing inuyasha representation do you want to give any bonus points here remember you can do that Ooh, can I give a bonus point for the swords? That's I really up, that's like up to you. What was your original rating, though? Oh, I was going to give it a 7. So, yeah, 7.5. Cool. Is that what you gave? The bonus point would be 1, so 8. Oh. So yeah. because of the swords, you got an 8. But yeah. mine's the, <laughs> what was mine, a 7.5, I think? Yeah, yeah, mine was a 7.5, hers is an 8. Next up, we do have Dwayne Ho's collection here. So they have a really great out-of-box collection here. I really, really like the Disney Pixar up on the left. And then you have some uh, kind of like, it leads into multiple different characters, some die casts up there, some other little cool SpongeBob figures. I don't know exactly. Are those kid robot? I don't, I'm not exactly sure, maybe. And then it leads into some like sodas. And then you have a couple Star Wars. As you go down, you do have some of the BTS and like the merchandise from McDonald's, which is kind of cool. And then you also have some, um, I don't know what that plushie is. I don't even think that's from Pokemon. That does not look like Pokemon to me. Uh, but anyways, you have a mix of pops and then BTS like merchandise, which looks cool. To me, a little bit though, I feel like there's so much BTS merch, especially in the middle, that it's kind of hard to see exactly what some things are. But, you know, that's how you like it. You know what everything is. So it does matter <laughs> what I think on that. As far as like probably display, I think in the middle row, it's just viewability. You can't see everything. Down below is amazing. I think it looks great. You have uh, so many different characters. It's very colorful. The acrylic risers makes you be able to see everything, especially the Pokemon, really, really well. Actually, not acrylic risers. You use pop protectors. I think that was really creative. Or creative, excuse me. And then you do have multiple different characters on the bottom, just various different. I like the Sesame Street. I think those are pretty cool. Yes. And, and then it looks down below. looks like some storage for some different pops and like some out-of-box things. I think I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. It's... A fantastic display. I love it. And if I had all of this band merch, I would probably be displaying the same way. Uh, for some of my Marvel, Wanda, Scarlet Witch pops, I use comic book covers from The Trial of Magneto in my background, even though I wish you could see it more. Um, right now it's on a smaller shelf, so you can't. See, but... I, I docked you points for that. <gasps> what? He docked me. Bro. <laughs> oh no your collection from 20 out of 10 goes to 19 out of 10 
What's the rating? I'm sad. Uh, personally, I would rate this... Ooh, cause here's the thing. I really, really, really love LEDs, and I don't know if you have any here, but that's a personal preference kind um, of thing. If you look at this, it almost... I don't... I think so? Are those LED bars? Yeah, actually, it looks like they have bars on those. So... I give it 10 out of 10. The organization is really good. I like how you're using different shapes for the different products that you have in the background. You don't just have it straight behind on a lot of them. You have them raised and then the pops in front of it. I think this is fantastic. You know what? I'm going to bump it up to a 10 out of 10 and here's why. Because I think it's cool that you have the merchandise for McDonald's and even the little sauce packets. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. So 10 out of 10 across the board. Next up, we do have M underscore E E G U O L G U O L. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways. So looks like it is majority, if not all anime, and they do have some like pop protectors in different places to kind of like fill the spaces for different characters. Maybe they're getting signed or when they get that specific character. As far as viewability, you basically get all the points there because you can see every single character. As far as display, it's mostly just pops kind of like stacked up. So there's not much of a display going on outside of you just kind of seeing them. And then as far as like neatness, you know, it's very neat. You can see everything. Everything's kind of symmetrical for the most part. So I think I'm going to give this one a... I feel like a lot of points get taken from display because there's not too much, you know, I, I don't know if you know yeah. what I mean, but it's, it's more so kind of like if I just took like a desk essentially and threw my pops on the desk. It almost looks like you're just presenting them for the photo rather than showing off your display, I guess is the best mm -hmm. way I can put that. So I think I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10. But what would you give it? Yeah, uh, I'd probably give it, I can't decide. Remember, you can give bonus points if you see maybe something cool. So he here's the thing. It's not, it's not bad by any means. I want to make sure that's very clear. Your pops look amazing. I told you she's about to be harsh. Uh, uh, so this is kind of where I start going back and forth. There are ways to show inbox pops and make them look really, really fantastic in your display. Pop walls are not bad. You see, you see how she's building you up to the, the ultimate personally, destruction? Personally, I would have organized it different. And here's where. If you look, you have two My Hero Academia pops on top of a bunch of fairy tale. And then if you go over, that's where the rest of your My Hero Academia pops are. So I would just swap those over because it's literally the same amount. And it could have just been a time thing. This is the only thing you had time to do, which is totally fine. I don't know if this is your permanent display or you're just like, hey, I want to submit, submit my pops. And that's totally awesome. And we're so happy that you did. But that's where I would personally differ in the way that it's organized. Other than that, though, you, your pops look fantastic. I'd probably give it a five or a six. I really can't decide. She, uh, she wants to, she mentioned that five she wants to do a five i don't want to be mean <laughs> i because here's the thing i mean like, i give it a 6.5 out of 10 so five is not that yeah. far out again you can get if you want to give a bonus point you can if you don't feel like there needs to be a bonus i point like yet. the kakashi statue i don't know you can meet in the middle at 5.5 5.5 .5. <laughs> You get a half point for the Kakashi statue. She's just trying to be honest here, 100%. There's yeah. no no one means to be mean here at all. If you look at my collection here, I have no room to be judging anybody's collection. If you look at this side of the collection, it's great. This side, I, I would probably honestly get like a 4 or 5 out of 10 just because of viewability. I have pops behind pops. It's very messy up top. Probably, like Mine wouldn't be great. Hers, she's like a displaying master, so... But yes, mine's a 6.5, hers is a 5.5. Let me know if you guys felt like we were being a little too rough or if we gave it a fair score. Let us know. Next up, we have Ricky Rick 97 here. So I'm already noticing some like, like I, we're going to throw in danger here for this one. And here's why. <laughs> I really like the out of box die cast. I think those are great. Yes. I don't know about stacking those up all the way just because here's why those acrylic cases are very easily damaged and very easily broken if they fall over and i know they kind of interlock pretty easily however they're very heavy so if you like bump into that table by accident those are going to come tumbling down especially on top of the other pops and they're going to crush some boxes and break some boxes so i feel like it's a little dangerous stacking them up maybe two across but four up seems a little scary and then up top here there's a lot going on because you have like if you look at uh, Hisoka as well as Monoma from My Hero Academia there, you can see the pops are starting to tilt. 
-hmm. and then you have mount lady kind of like halfway on all might there and then the two pack up there and then luffy up there so as far as like neatness there lose you lose a lot of points there on the ground as well for the pops you have like the no sideways there then that huge gap and then it's it's just i feel like there's a lot of points for neatness i don't feel like there's too much of display going on either here because it feels like they were just kind of all thrown over there and not i feel like this is rough to say what you I, can give them is the fact that they're trying to show as many of their pops at once that's up, true besides no viewability they get they get all the points yeah. you can see every single figure which is fantastic yeah. <laughs> if we're looking at your total like Every, all the cool characters you have you definitely get some really cool points like just having the cool diecast characters alone i'm going to give you a bonus point because i like the diecast i think they're great i think they overdid it now but i think they're great <laughs> so i think this one i was going to give a 5 out of 10 but i'm going to be giving you a 6 out of 10 because of the diecast for that bonus point but let's see what bailey has to say oh I'm genuinely scared looking at this photo. This is about to be worse than the last <laughs> one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, so here's... So, hmm. I'm genuinely scared looking at this photo. I really hope this isn't the way you have it permanently. Just That's because, what I was kind of hoping yeah. too when I saw I'm it. Hoping, I was hoping they just stacked them so they could yes. take a full photo. That's what I'm... So if, if that's what you did, yes. <laughs> then you wouldn't lose some points for like yeah. making us nervous. <clears throat> but like, go ahead. I, I feel like... Uh, some of the images that he's shown me briefly um, before we made the video, like, I think some people just set up their, dis like, display really quickly so they could show as many pops as possible, and I feel like this was probably one of those cases. And if that's the case, then I'm happy that we won't have to worry about things falling over. Uh, beyond that, though, I I like the way you have them sectioned, same as the last collection. But yeah, I'd give this a five <laughs> for the same reasons that I gave the other one a five. It just, yeah, there's right. way to ways to do inbox pops and make it look really cool. And I don't think this was exactly it. But you do have some awesome pops like that Anakin Skywalker. I don't know if it's a Wal Walgreens exclusive. Maybe I don't, I don't, I don't see the sticker, but it looks cool. It uh, bottom right, like at the top of that. Of the third round. I don't see it, but it's probably <laughs> the uh it's probably the uh Walgreens exclusive Anakin. But yeah, mine's a six, hers is a five, mine would have been a five, but you got that bonus point, so it's a six out of ten. Next up we have TZ collectibles here. So obviously a lot of great anime characters. We have an Inosuke autograph, which is awesome. I love the full metal alchemist on the left there, and then really great autographs on the bottom. I will have to deduct some viewability points here for the bottom picture just because the shelf that you're using. It blocks off all the names, so you can't see the entire box and the uh, the other half of the character almost. I think if you just put like a bar there, like you literally take like a piece of wood or something there to raise them up, I think it'd be really, really cool to display your uh, autographs better because they, obviously you spend a lot of money on them and the yeah. pops, so you want to be able to display them and people to see them the best you can. But as far as like, I mean, the display, you can see everything, viewability, you can see everything for the most part on the top. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. How about you? That seems like a fair rating. I agree with pretty much everything you said. I'm trying to think of the differences between the last two collections we saw versus this one. Those had a lot more pops. So I'm trying to think if this one was bigger, would we be deducting the same kind of points as the other one? And I don't think so, honestly, because the way you have them stacked looks a little safer. Well, okay. The one two props ago. Well, you got to mm. consider because if they stacked them all the way up, going up and up and up, how dangerous would it start to be? Yeah. Getting? Especially so, when they're in pop protectors. If you don't buy the same style pop protector every single time, some are bubbly, some are thicker than other ones, and, and it starts to create crazy. different raises. It's mm -hmm. almost like multiple different skyscrapers being next to each other up here, up here, up here, and it starts making things kind of teeter a little bit. So yeah. I don't think that's the case because seeing your pop protectors just from the photo, they do seem to be they look flat. all flat and the yeah. same quality. What would your rating be, though? I'd give it a six. Six? You know what? I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a half point, and we're going to bump this up to an eight just because I really love the multicolored All Might uh, signature because I have that myself, and I love Chris oh, Sabat. So we're, you're getting a half point for Chris Sabat's autograph there. Yeah. So eight out of ten for me. What was yours? We'll say 6.5. I changed it because I didn't see that. I didn't think yours was going to be that low. Okay. All right. 6.5 for her, 8 out of 10 for me. Next up, we do have Chris's collection here, and there is a lot going on here. Yes. I don't know if this is what they're going for, but let me know. 
were they going for a multicolored like theme there so do you see like the red there and then the green on the side and then like different characters well i don't know about Hiyome, but then you have some blue some purple and like so darker colors and then monochromatic may- slash color coded is what yes and no because it looks like different in this picture but it looks green up here and then you have a bunch of yellow and orange down here i think i think they did because it's definitely not by like anime versus like marvel or anything well it looks like most of your collection if not all of it is anime yeah yeah right no that's uh that guy from dc oh sinestro yeah sinestro. yeah so there's some there's some dc and maybe like one marvel character there's some master chief from halo yeah okay so it's a, it's a good mix of multiple different kinds yeah. um I like the DBZ statues in the back and then the characters in front. I think that's cool. The autographs are really cool with Naruto and uh, Sasuke on top. Mm-hmm. As far as an out-of-box display, I think it's really cool. I feel like maybe different characters could have put been put in different places. Like, for example, the Bakugo could have been traded out with Charmander there so you could see more of Master Roshi because Bakugo's hair is really tall. That's fair. So you would see not as much as pain, but a good amount more detail. And then you could even trade, like, Karapika out for another one. Outside of that, I think I'm going to give this collection an... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9, <laughs> 9 out of 10, I think, is a fair... That's a fair score. The only recommendations that I would have would be to maybe add some light. But I actually really like the idea of color coding your pops. That, I almost want to do that now. But I know for a fact that I'm going to undo it in like a day. <laughs> so... Yeah, I really like the way you organized them. I really like the way you color-coded them. I really love your signatures. I actually disagree with you. I think they should keep Charmander and Bakugo there because if you look at the way they organize them on the bottom, they have the tallest one on the top, then two shorter ones, and then two on their base stands. But you could also just put the tallest ones in the middle and then the short ones on the side. You could do that as well. That is true. I do think the way they have it lined up, it makes sense. So what's what's your rating? Nine. Next up, we do have Shadows 15's collection here. So we're actually going to be blurring out the middle because it's heavy AOT spoilers for anybody who has not seen Season 4 or bits and pieces of Season 3, 2, and 1. So if you haven't seen the show, basically, then you're going to be spoiled. I really like the fact that everything's symmetrical. It looks really, really neat. I feel like the... Do you feel like the wall color complements the box? I feel like it almost blends in with the colors of the box. I think maybe like a different color might make them pop more. No pun intended. (laughs) understand what you mean but i still think it's a a flat color though and i think it does look really really nice Mm -hmm. and you can definitely see all the characters two per shelf is really nice you have the one in the middle i'm assuming that's like probably your favorite character or favorite pop um but i think i'm gonna give this display like a 9.5 out of 10 9.5 out of 10 yeah i think i'm gonna go actually i'm gonna give you a 10 out of 10 because you have annie and she's my favorite character so 10 out of 10 (laughs) uh i'd give this i'd give this a nine and the only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 is because... It's because of spoilers in the middle. No. Well, now I'm conflicted. It's like, I don't know, I like lights. But, like, that's so... A well, not everything has to have not lights. Not everything has to have lights. So, you know what? Actually, no. This is a 10 out of 10 because you didn't just have all of your pops in a line or anything like that. You, it, you really put effort into your display and it looks really great so 10 out of 10 i will say though mikasa is a little bit off center next to armin there's, oh like, my there's like a little sp- <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just next up we have 13 hinato here very very to the point for the collection everything's out of box uh, you can see all the characters the boxes match the characters which is really great demon slayer up top naruto in the middle there and boruto uh, you have hunter hunter one piece and fire force as well as my hero academia and dragon ball z a couple plushies down below i really like the swords on the side i'm gonna give you a bonus half point there because i think the swords look really cool i think i'm gonna give this collection it was going to be an 8.5, so we're going to be a 9 out of 10. I think 9 is accurate. I like. Are you about to say something about LEDs? <laughs> no. I'm not going to say anything about LEDs. LED snob over here. <laughs> I mean, do they look good, though? Yes. Point made. Here's the thing. I don't want to seem biased because I have like a half in, half out of box collection. Personally, it really dispen- dispense, dispense depends on people's storage space and i like the way you did this a lot and it still gives room for more pops if you so desire them in the future so yeah i like how you have them organized i like how you have 
Dra Dragon Ball. Demon Slayer. I keep calling Demon Slayer Dragon Ball today. <laughs> then Naruto. And then you kind of have like a sorted, but it's still anime in a lot of One Piece, actually. That's cool. Is that Tabakawa? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then you have Dragon Ball and MJ on the bottom. So yeah, I think that looks super dope. So what, nine out of ten? Yeah, nine. Next up, we have Ben C's collection here. So lots of pops here it's kind of very similar to my display to be honest you have a couple different things out of box like tanjiro over there on the manga i think that's demon slayer manga it's kind of hard to see but i think it is and then you also do have some like figures up uh up top out of box as well as some statues then you have the luffy statue it kind of blocks tanjiro versus rui on the left side but not too much so we're not going to take any points away from that oh it looks like you have two naruto versus sasuke as you took one and then took one out of box and kept one for end of box display. I will say though, uh, you lose some points because different characters are blocking like some of the bigger pops. And I do feel like the bigger pops always have really good details. If you wanted to display those characters, you could probably do like, like boxes up there or something like some kind of shelf riser for the bigger pops. So you can see those as well as see the characters and maybe do, but this all boils down to space issues around, but I, I'm going to deduct some points because of the fact that they are blocking some characters up top on the bottom there. It's all really neat viewability. I don't know if you have pops behind pops, but you can see everything. So I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. What do you think? I think that's valid. She says that and then starts deducting points. I'm trying not to repeat it, repeatedly say the word um, so I'm pausing more between my words because that's a huge pet peeve. The more she mind. says um, the more I have to edit. That as well. So, you know, in the last collection, a lot of it was out of, or most of it was out of box, to be fair, if not all of it. You know how they had the boxes turned to the side and then they had more pops on top and then the box for that pop was behind it or I guess for you guys would be behind it. That's what I'm talking about when I am saying I'm looking for depth. I'm looking for a little bit more visual interest and I like how you have pops up top to kind of give us some different shapes that we're messing around with. It's not just a lot of boxes, just a lot of straight edges. I like how you have some manga included as well to kind of mix it up a little bit. It does look a little messy in some areas, but yeah, what what did you give it again? I gave it an 8.5. Yeah, I think that's a good, that's a good rating. 8.5. She's about to give you a 4. No. <laughs> She's going to give you a 4. No. Next up, we have Ben T's collection. I'm going to refer to you as Ben 10. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you don't just do this full time because it's very dangerous. The stool. What? What's going on with the stool? Let me know down below if you're watching this video. I hope they're not there full time because it does yeah. look based off how the door hinges are, the door swings in this way. So it does look like the doors could just smack them off the stool. Dominance. Smash, just smack them off the stool at any point. So that feels a little dangerous, especially with them being stack six high. But I think you did it just so you could show more. But I'm going to deduct half a point for that. I, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's how the photo was taken, but do they look like they're leaning at all to you? Uh, I think it's the way the photo was taken. Usually when you use wide end wide lenses it starts doing like that fit eye effect okay okay i feel like i think you have a window over there as well if i'm not mistaken like i feel like either I feel a like window a, or a door a blanket something back there to kind of like use the pops to kind of block it and then there's like a blanket over something that's why i said a window i also like the manga across the dresser however i do feel like the closer it gets it does block some names that's so maybe some like one row would be better but if you can't do it because of space then i fully understand that i feel like it gets a little dangerous with that middle that middle mm -hmm. row there because there's nothing on either side supporting it so again if that door comes smacking against the wall one day maybe your mom's angry she comes in and then maybe she like wobbles the pop so you never know all right oh you never gosh. know i'm just i'm thinking worst Thank case scenario here okay people. so it feels really stacked high all the way to the ceiling it, it kind of scares me a little bit and then you do have the other out of box figure like zoro there he's a great pop and he's being blocked by that character so you can't really see that one look at all the tokyo ghoul at the top Tokyo Ghoul, yeah, the Tokyo oh Ghoul is a little off-centered, I will say, because it's the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is higher than the Naruto versus Sasuke, so Rize is a little... Me. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so much anxiety looking at this picture. And then you have the little mini pocket pop right there. It, I feel like there's so many dangerous areas. I think I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give this one a 5.5 out of... Actually, I'm going to give you a 6. I'm going to give you a half point because you have so many really great Bleach figures and Attack on Titan figures, and those are very rare, especially the Death Note. So I'm going to give you a 6 out of 10. I think if you... 
got some of the like danger spots out you might get like a 6.5 maybe a 7 but I'm, i think i'm gonna stay at six uh six out of ten so what do you think so i was originally gonna give this a five because i was concerned about things moving falling all of the things that he just mentioned i'm giving it a six for two reasons one you have assassination classroom plates i think or something or I don't know what I don't know exactly. It's definitely what it one is. of the creepiest plates I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a plate or a stack of plates, and you have things on top of it. I don't know, but I really like Assassination Classroom, and I wish they would do more stuff for it. So you know what? I'm gonna give you half a point for that, and also half a point for the pops. If you look all the way at the bottom, on right next to the bureau slash dresser, there are some pops out of box, uh, and they aren't covering <coughs> the pops behind them you place them specifically so they wouldn't do that so i like that i think it looks really great and is that a lelouch poster yes yeah so i'm gonna I give love, it a... i love it too <laughs> i know that's one of your favorite characters yep. ever probably yeah i still don't know where it's from code geass code geass so what six out of ten yeah six next up we do have brian s's collection first off i really like the rick and portal gun like decal on the oh, wall wow. i think it's just a giant decal it does look really great for the most part you can see everything there's like some pops i feel like i feel like they look a little awkward on the bottom like over there i don't know if you get what i mean the pokemon and then there's like one character around it i don't even yeah, think don't it's pokemon <laughs> it just it looks very open and it, it looks kind of awkward because they're just thrown there i'm assuming you're just waiting to get more pokemon pops which Same. is fully fully uh okay in the middle it looks like you're i'm not exactly sure if there's like it just looks like all my hair academia i i don't think they have any attack on titan figures i don't see maybe they're waiting no, to get the new uh, they have female titan though oh female titan. i feel like i feel like some of the attack on titan figures if you got more would look better in the middle because it would match the poster for like a theme and display i'm assuming at night it probably looks really cool with the lights Ooh, all above it yes. the other attack on titan print on the side is really cool i think that's on the door for the, your closet I think I'm going to give this one, is it, do they have, oh, they also have a mirror, so I feel like they could have used some pops here, maybe like one on each side at the very least. Yeah, they could also be waiting for more AOT pops to come in as That's well. possible. Do you think there's pops behind the Tundra and Killua holding those up, or is that just a depth thing like you were talking about? I, I, I can't tell. I can't tell either. They look a little farther, no, if you look on the other side as well, it looks like they might have some Naruto Oh, they might pops. have them lean down. So yeah. So I got to take some points away because you can't see all the characters. I think I'm going to go with a, I'm going to go with an eight out of 10 because I like the little minis all along. I think I that's really cool. Them. And then the little Tanjiro uh, Pikachu or Nez Zenitsu Pikachu. <laughs> sorry. Zenitsu Pikachu figure is pretty cool. I think that's available on Amazon if anybody's wondering. So I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10. What do you think? Eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. I, Anything to bonus say? Bonus points for the lights because i love lights and i also like how you used the displays to frame the frame of the poster it looks really great so yeah next up we do have brunette nerdettes here this is one of my patreon members and discord members it's honestly the, the, the this is a 10 out of 10 like i this is a thousand times better than my collection i love the tv up there i don't know if it duels as a monitor but it looks great the desk space looks really great as well. You put the pops all around it. You can't really see Iris behind the monitor, but you can't exactly help your monitor size. So, I, especially, as well as Mini Nezuko, I feel like when you're sitting down, you can't see her at all. I'm not going to fault you for those because the whole display is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I really like the blue background as well. I feel like it makes everything pop. Yeah. Makes the room much more colorful and brighter. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I think it looks great. I love the way it looks. I think it looks very organized and neat. And the blue behind it also does make it pop really well, like you mentioned. It's absolutely fantastic. One thing you might want to consider is, you know how you have the Endeavors up on the top right? Left. Right there? Oh, top left, right. My bad. I was looking at it from this way. <laughs> I like how you have, or I think, I'm not sure. I'm like 90% sure you have the boxes flipped around. And when you do that, like I mentioned earlier, it gives you more color behind them. So it's not kind of just like shadow. I would suggest doing that for actually all of them. That's my personal preference, though. So then you have more colors in the background. 
But I also like how it looks more uniformed because you didn't do that. So honestly, it's a preference thing. But that's what I do with mine. So what's your rating? 10. Oh. 11. The, the, only, the only question I have is, where'd Growlithe go? I was wondering that too. Where, where did he go? Question of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we do need to do a question of the day for this video. So the question of the day for this video, where did Growlithe go? Next up, we do a BT Alley's collection here. So I'm noticing a lot of the bigger pops out of box, which looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. You do have all of the like 10 inch Pokemon up top, which looks great. I feel like Mewtwo's kind of hidden back there with the shadows, but I think that's the space thing. We're, yeah, we're not going to dock you for anything for that. All the Pokemon in the middle look great. You filled in the space on the right there with one of the Pokemon mangas. I think that's what that is. So that was a great like space filler and it. It's very bright so you can see it. I do feel like we have some viewability issues in the middle there because you can't see the flocked Pokemon uh, back there. Uh, you can see the Pokemon in the front, of course, but I feel like the plushies and the Pokemon in the front do block those. As far as everything else, I feel like viewability is fantastic. You do have some kind of like... I feel like for display, I guess that's what we're kind of looking at there. Yeah, it's just the display. I don't know if you see the Pikachu up top, but I don't know mm -hmm. if they're going to add one in later. Maybe that's like yeah. an empty thing, or maybe that was intentional. I'm not I'm not sure. But I, I, I don't know. I, as far as the out-of-box display, I think it looks great. You have the in-box and out-of-box, which looks awesome. Lots of different characters. Um, I'm assuming the empty spaces are for new characters showing up later. All the plushies mm -hmm. up top look great. I think those are all Funko plushies. I'm not sure if they make all those characters. The uh, the Harry Potter one's really great as well. Yes. I think I'm going to give this collection a 9 out of 10. I really like it. Yeah. I really It's very colorful too. Like it. I can tell you put a lot of thought into it. By the way, you have specific cell cell Actually, no. I'm changing. It's a 10. <laughs> this is a 10. Yeah. I feel like this is a 10 because you even have like a little this, Hogwarts castle right there with Dumbledore. Mm -hmm. This is a 10. Really I changed my mind. It's a 10. Are you a 10? Yeah, it's a 10, 10 for me. 10 across the board. Anything else to say about it? Great job. Next up, we do have Charwitha's or Charwitha. I think that's how you say that. This one yes. is very, very cool. Like, I really like the manga panels all across the wall. I thought that was really awesome. And obviously, that's pretty hard work to match them all up. That's really cool. And then the Donkey Kong style like ladders for Mario. I just saw that. Or I think Donkey Kong's his what? own game. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, though, the Donkey Kong ladders where they kind of like climb up and go to different Shoot levels. Some ladders, but I that's... think that was very unique and very creative. I don't do that. I'm I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the. I'm not gonna dock you. Excuse me, my voice is cracked. <laughs> I'm not gonna dock you for this. But do you see like the glass? It's like missing in the middle. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Oh, they could have just had the door open. Or the door is broken. And they the, don't have or the door is off. I don't know. Anyways, though. Some of them don't have doors. I think this is another 10 out of 10 yes. for creativity alone. Like, it was, it's very beautifully yes. done, very well designed. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 million out of 10. Oh, yeah. Um, for me, I am obsessed. The only thing that might make it better is LEDs. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will die on this hill. Everybody needs LEDs. They're cool, okay? They bring people joy. They bring me joy. And I want that all for you guys. Yeah. I love this collection with all of my heart. I love the way you have it displayed. I'm very interested to see how it adapts when you get more pops. I imagine you'd probably put some on top of the shelves a little bit. or start I, I feel like if they add any more, it'll start to look cluttered. Well, they have some room for AOT on the bottom. I feel like you have to be very specific. I think about... you'd have to get rid of the statues to add more pops. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, though, I feel like it'd be too cluttered. I feel like just adding in a couple more characters would make it look nice, but any more than that, I think, would be like really cluttered, in my opinion, at least. That's understandable. I love it, though. It looks fantastic. Yeah. Great, Good job. Great job. Next up, we do have Chase E's collection here. So, right off the bat for display... I'm not going to lie, you're going to lose a lot of points just because some of your pops you can see and then you have some kind of like in the corner with the Mickey Mouse and then I think that's a Mandalorian pop and Baymax is unfortunately like turned completely around just for about, you can see like the, the side of it and some of the back, but for the majority of your collection, you can't actually see it. I think you can see the fronts of them, but you can't see them because the dresser is blocking them from a side point of view. So... Overall, I think for like, you lose a lot of points for display. Neatness, it's pretty neat because everything's just kind of together. Everything's grouped together. Viewability and display, 
I think I'm going to put this one out of five out of 10 personally, mm -hmm. uh, but that's just me. I, I, you got bumped higher because of like some really cool char characters you have, like the AOT as well as the manga next to it. And then I like the Doctor Strange box. I the popcorn was, bucket. Yeah, popcorn bucket. I thought that was really unique, but I think I'm going to have to stay firm at the five out of 10. What do you think? I think that's a fair score. And I want to remind everybody that this is all just personal preference if you like your collections please by all means ignore us we are not here to tell you you should change your whole collection uh but this is for me kind of a difference in between display and storage I'm the way guessing... i'm treating it as is if you wanted to bring over your friends and you wanted to wow them with this amazing display personally to me i wouldn't just want to see all the sides of the boxes i want to see the fair. details on the character so that's kind of how i'm treating it i'm not trying to be harsh i'm treating it as if i brought people over yeah this is how i would want it to be viewed and displayed just multiple different reasons as to why i gave it a five but yeah. overall if we're just rating it on the fact that how great and like diverse your collection is it's amazing yeah it's incredible next up we do have checks mix here so kind of like the last collection very similar thing here as well as the statues all across the front are blocking a lot of the characters as well. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with a 5 out of 10 for this one. You got bumped higher because all the cool statues. You got to dust the statues too. I see a lot of dust there. <laughs> because I am noticing some pops out of the protectors. Because if so, if you're not dusting properly, that dust sticks to them. It makes this thick, sticky layer over them. Yeah. And eventually it makes the boxes darker on top. So if you ever want to sell them, they're going to be worth less, essentially. So mm -hmm. if you don't dust as often, I recommend just getting pop protectors for the top ones. But yes, as far as like viewability and display, I have to give it a 5 out of 10. Five, or 5 out of 10, excuse me. But what would you rate it? I'll give you a 5.5 because I like how you have all your statues in the front. I know like they do kind of limit for visibility. So like that's why I won't go much higher than that. But you have a lot of great pops. I see that you have some signatures up at the top. They look great. Yeah, 5.5. 5.5? 5.5. Okay. Next up, we do have Colin Mack here, or Mock. So, first of all, great collection. Um, I absolutely love the different wall art you do have, as well as the out-of-box Naruto, One Piece, Attack on Titan. It bothers me a little bit that the Attack on Titan does not match for the one, or the one Punch Man. I don't know if you see that. But the One Punch Man characters up here, and their boxes are down there. Maybe they just wanted them on top of them. I don't know. I'm not going to deduct any points. It's, again, it's just me. I'm just like a OCD thing. The left shelf looks really great as well. You have a lot of Marvel and DC over there. Only thing I will say, I'm going to deduct like half points here because of the DC. You can't see a lot of the characters. And some of the Marvel characters on the right, you can't really see the characters. So viewability, it looks very cluttered because it looks like they were just all thrown over there versus if you get like some boxes or maybe like one acrylic shelf riser, you can see everything. And it, it makes it, it enhances the whole display. But I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a 9.5 out of 10. Because of the viewability issues for the DC and Marvel, I'm not going to give it a full up 10 out of 10. But That's what would you true. rate it? 9.5 for the exact same reason. And to be fair, we don't know if you have like risers on the way and you just haven't been able to order them yet or something like that. But the creativity for all of this is wonderful. I have never seen such an elaborate like riser made out of boxes display than that for anything i think i love how you kind of have it like a castle for the boxes i think that looks so cool my and score also... sorry to cut you off my score in the last video before we were remaking it here i give it an 8 out of 10 and i didn't want to give it i i was going back and editing i was like oh, i don't i don't like that rating and give it because there's a lot of creativity or there's a lot mm -hmm. going on so 9.5 I think is way better for this one so again like she said she felt like I was being too harsh in different areas <laughs> and maybe not harsh enough in certain areas so yeah anyways what were you gonna say I also love the two eyes above those are so cool I want to know where you got them because I want them now I want to put them in our living room because like I was like it's... eyes what are you talking about the the Uchi I thought they Uchiha were clocks eyes. but I don't think they're clocks no I don't think they're clocks I think they're just they have the certain like details uh cut uh, out of them. yeah that's fair but, but yeah but yeah fantastic collection i love it next up we do have collecting students here i'm assuming you're a student based off the name that's what mm -hmm. i'm assuming by collecting mm -hmm. students no no oh, okay anyways <laughs> though i really like the display on the left i think it's very neat you can see everything it doesn't look cluttered at all the only thing i'm worried about is or only thing i really want to know is how you did that they look like they're floating essentially yeah, I, I you're above the baseboard. 
I, I don't know how you did that. Are they like sticking to the wall on the back or are they like, do they have a stand under it? The only thing I'd be, the only reason I, I, I don't know if it's a stand is because there's a lot of pops. That's a lot of weight for like a plastic stand or something. My guess is Maybe metal they hooks? have certain like, they have kind of like shoe displays that it's a one line up the top and then they have like a little shelves that go up. But to find one that perfectly fits pops. Yeah. Almost to the point that it doesn't look like Because if you there. see, you see over here for the Mandalorian, I, it's like completely flat against the wall. And Please then they have more us. space to kind of slowly build it. Two more rows. Two, yeah. two or three at the very least based off the gap. I think that looks great once you have more. No, I think I mean, it, looks, it, looks, it, it looks like stairs as you're building up. I think that's cool. I, I like the Naruto. out-of-box characters. What? Imagine Naruto running. <laughs> The out of box up top is really nice. Then you have the Batman over there, which mm -hmm. looks great too. You have uh, Bruce Wayne and Batman out of box. Doctor Strange, that's where they use the comic. Yes, I don't and, know where mine went. And the Venom comic. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did have that, but it's gone now. The South Park figure on the side, I don't see him out of box, so you can't really see that character. But it's only one pop, I think, that's on the side, so I'm not going to knock any points for that. <laughs> Display, viewability, it's all great. You can see all the characters. I think it's awesome. I'm going to give this one... Just for the creativity, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. Yeah. 10 out of 10? Uh, yeah. Also, you can see they have lights there. Where? They have puck lights. Oh, on those I shelves. Keep, <laughs> we looked at this earlier. I keep forgetting about this. Yes. 10 out of 10 I all around. It. Next up, we do have Connor S's collection here. So I'm noticing kind of like multiple different displays here. So you have the, like, I almost realized, maybe, did they do that? And maybe they're just transparent? I I don't know how they did it. I want to know. Collecting unit, tell me. <laughs> Anyways, though, the out of box, I think that looks really great. I, I love the fact that they're kind of like, like spaced out. That looks cool. And then you have regular bookshelves as well. You did the. I really like the fact that you did the two six inch pops on the side and the moment in the middle because it really mm -hmm. fits that space. Up top, you have like a stacking thing. You can't really see. I feel like you could trade out the pez and maybe put that somewhere else to be able to see Suyu. Personally, turn her and um, so you can see that character. As far as everything else, pretty neat. You do have some Hunter Hunter mixed with the Yu Yu show, two different characters. And then you move over, you have like the out of box in Nosuke. I think that was a cool use of the space. You could get like two more kind of like side characters, uh, sideways characters to fill those spaces as well. And then for the TV display, I think that's really cool. You get to see your pops out of box and in box with some manga mixed in while you're watching TV. That's great. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Hmm. Let me think. I, I think <laughs> I gave it. I, I think I was gonna go with an eight point five, but I think I gave you a half point to get to the nine because of the the individual like pops displayed on their own little mini shelves. I thought that yeah. was really cool. I'm actually gonna give it an eight point five, and here's why: because there are some specific areas that look really, really great, and then the rest of them kind of just look standard, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But creativity wise, compared to a lot of the other ones we've done, hold on one second. Is the Mikasa on top of the blind thing? Yes. Okay, I have to take away the half point. <laughs> That's very dangerous. <laughs> Yo, be careful. Especially the six inch pop. I feel like it's kind of like tipping over the ledge a little bit. I don't want to think like, about it. I feel like it has to. Don't That's think very about scary it. because like those sliding glass doors, yes. they slam sometimes, okay? So, <laughs> what did I say? A nine? I'm going to say an 8.5. No, I said 9. I, I, I said I was going to give an 8.5, but I bumped it up to a 9. Oh, okay. I'm going to give it an 8.5 because that feels very dangerous. And Mika says like a $200 pop. So that, that, that worries me. I took away my half point. <laughs> <laughs> For the same reason, safety is important, guys. Please be careful. Uh, pops can be replaced, but you can't. And I don't think a pop could hurt you that badly. But still, I care about you and I don't want to risk it. So please be careful. Next up, we have Diego C's collection here. So they have a really good mix of all kinds of different things. It looks like a Kakashi patch down there. You have a Luffy down there. Up top, you have multiple different anime characters. Again, thing that bugs me is that the characters aren't matching their specific things. I'm not exactly sure why with Killua and Shinra because the boxes are right next to each other. That is an interesting choice. Maybe they're... I was going to say maybe they were doing it for colors, but I don't know. I, I don't know because like every other one matches no yeah. like actually none of them match except saitama's close that's interesting maybe a space thing maybe they bought them purposely out of box to save money if they like having them out of box well no because most of those characters match their boxes the boxes are just in different places huh 
That's very confusing. Okay, I feel like I feel like Does that count as like a neatness thing? I mean, I feel like that's more of an OCD thing. To be fair, what I can give them kind of is that they have the blue boxes on the left and the brown and yellow kind of ones on the right. I don't but know if that was intentional though. I yeah, I would switch the one punch man all the way over to the right and scoot them over. Actually, no, I'd switch Hunter Hunter and Fire Force as well. And I would also we, switch Demon Slayer and Naruto. We don't even have a Deku box up there, so that's why I was saying. No. I don't. I mean, I'm not off camera. Listen, I'm not going to fault you for that. You might have had your reason for it. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not going to fault you for it. I'm not going to de deduct any points for that. Hey, Smoke. The Yuno statue over there, I believe that's Yuno from Black Clover, if I'm not mistaken, you know, unless that's some other random character. But I think that's Yuno. That looks cool. Then the out of box pops look really great as well. Uh, Megami down there, I think it's Megami. Megami Megumi, something like that. Um, I don't remember how to pronounce his name. Down there looks great. The stickers look cool. The patch looks cool. I love the money as well. The Jujutsu Kaisen and Naruto money. I think that's sweet. All the statues and figures. I think I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 personally. Sorry, it's bugging me. I like the back, <laughs> the back, but it's bugging me so much. I, yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to do 8 out of 10. I think the manga background was um, creative as well, or creative as well. What do you think? Those two characters on the bottom, are they from your name? I want to make sure. I don't I think, think so. I feel like they are. I feel though. like it's just an anime, like some other anime. Where have I seen them from? I can't remember. Oh I my mean, gosh, that's gonna that's gonna drive. Someone me. let us know down below, please. You think? You think? I think eight out of ten is a yeah. good score. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? Because. Well, it's either eight or nine, so maybe an eight point five. I like how they don't just have a straight up plain background and. And they tried to use the boxes at least to give it more. Boxes character. are bugging you, aren't they? The color. They're, I'm a color. They're bugging you, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. No. She was talking about. I color talking about, my closet. That's guys. an OCD thing, but they're bugging her. They're bugging her. No. Yeah. I'm going with an eight. I don't know how you feel if you want to match my eight or maybe eight point five. Eight point five. Eight point five. Okay. Eight. Eight point five. Next up, we do have Edwin G's collection here. First of all, ten out of ten, because good lord, oh my gosh, would I love <laughs> to have my so collection many. like this? Oh. I love the fact, and I can't. I'm. I'm sure it took so much time to get everything evenly diagonal like I, that no, no. i can't even imagine do you have like one of those things that are like half circles and they have like those bubbles i don't know what they're called this bubbler. is great you have like some out of box like i think that's the freddy funko hq thing out of box in everett the amazing black light posters in the back funko logo uh little uh 3d printed figure there some comics like this is a beautiful collection even the plant looks nice i think i think, <laughs> I think it's a fake plant i'm not sure but World Everything movie. looks great. You have some Spider Man and Venom salt and pepper shakers, some Spider Man wacky, wacky wobblers right there. Oh! They're all this. Everything, for the most Whoa. part, is Funko. Almost. Not everything, but beautiful collection. This is what I wish my Spider Man collection looks like. So, actually, I'm this is, like I'm giving it a, I'm giving an 11 out of 10 for this one. This is an 11 out of 10. We're going past 10. You get a bonus point for just amazingness. No pun intended. She is beauty. She is grace. And I absolutely love her. My favorite thing, actually, which is kind of random. First of all, let me acknowledge the fact that this looked like it took an incredible amount of time and coordination. And I want to applaud you for that. Thank you. I appreciate your work immensely. My favorite part is probably, and this is the most random thing, that little Spider-Man in that center image, like second to top shelf that i'm seeing or maybe third to top i can't tell but it looks like he's gonna fall off the shelf and i know that's just the way the pop is but oh i didn't it, even see that that's it looks really so cool. funny i love it but fantastic what was your rating 10, D 10 million <laughs> okay 10 million next up we do have eric's collection here so pretty to the point here it does look like they have some other cool like anime figures to the left there but focusing on the pops it does look like based off sasuke in the top right hand corner next to the smoke detector there are some pops behind these it's probably stacked two or three deep i'm not exactly sure but you have a lot of great figures, mm -hmm. but it's um it mostly just looks like just pops on the shelves. So I don't know about display. I think I'm gonna give this one a six out of ten. You got a bonus point for all the really cool signatures, but I'm gonna give this display overall a six out of ten. I'm gonna give it the same score bonus point because of the signatures, so six. But normally I would give it a five. And 
not because they're all just stacked up or because it's really visible, like the visibility thing you were mentioning, but actually because of the way they organized it, they have. I didn't even Mike, think. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, well. because some of the My Hero, well, okay, specifically Moon Knight or Midnight, excuse me, is lower than the rest of them, and personally, that would drive me crazy. So, but it looks like you might have an odd number, and that's why you did that. So I don't know. It look. It's a really cool collection. Don't get me wrong. I love all of your signatures. You have some really cool ones. Like you have the Naruto Hokage chase and the Kakashi Anbu chase. Those look fantastic. And the Itachi Anbu chase. Wow, you have a lot of chases, man. Congrats. But yeah, good collection. Six. Next up, we do have Esteban's collection here. And I'm noticing a lot of really great franchises here. So we do have the Sweet Tooth and Ice Cream Truck. Love that game. That is definitely a classic throwback. Uh, I remember playing as far back as the PS2. Okay. So you do have a lot of like six inch and bigger pops. I love the fact that you use the display for that to fit them like properly in there. That looks great. A lot of different characters. Uh, I feel like there's some mixing and matching going, but probably because you didn't have enough because you have like some of the Five Nights at Freddy's and then Dungeons and Dragons and then PlayStation here. And then up here, Stranger Things and then some Marvel there and then some horror mixed in. So as far as like matching sh uh, sets, I feel like, I don't know. What what do you think? You feel like matching a little better or for like the display? Because I feel like it, it, feel, it feels a little all over the place. I don't know. If I, yeah. I would definitely agree with that. That's my main thing. The, the only thing we... to finish. Sorry, really quick. I'll let you have your time. <laughs> finishing up my uh, finishing up my thoughts here. I like the video games down below, but once you go from the pops down below, it almost looks kind of like storage. I, I don't I don't That's know if you get that because like and I love the Donkey Kong like the barrels down there mm -hmm. really awesome on uh, GameCube love that game. I just again like the Pokemon card things down there the the holders I feel like the Master Ball looks really cool there but then you have them just on top of like Pokemon card boxes essentially so and then the Galactus it kind of feels out of place there uh, just mm -hmm. next to everything else. Some of the box again, it just feels like storage down there for everything else. So if like the picture was up and up, then I would have given a higher score. But personally, it just looks kind of cluttered down there. And then like even the keychains down there, you can't see all of them. They're just kind of thrown in the display. It would have been really cool if you trickled them all throughout your collection, personally. So I think I'm going to give this one, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. What do you think? I... I'm going to give this a six. Okay. And mainly because it does not seem organized to me. What I will, the reason why I'm giving it a six and not a five is an, it doesn't have anything to do with your bottom shelves, actually. I never want to judge people because sometimes their bottom shelves is what they use for storage. Well, I'm not judging at all because I like that's not why. If I'm just yeah, judging no, on I'm... overall display, like my bottom shelves are definitely cluttered. For the most part especially mixed yeah. and match for miscellaneous characters it's all pops it's just mixed and match and, and i do mm -hmm. kind of use it for extra space essentially so i fully understand yeah. what you're and doing I... here but if we're talking about overall display this goes back to like when i want to bring somebody and make it presentable and i want to show off my collection mm -hmm. i wouldn't want a bunch of like different things down there mixed with video games and pokemon yeah. boxes and different things like that so i don't want to feel like i'm coming off harsh and mean <laughs> yeah. there I'm mostly just trying to look at it as like if I brought people in and wanted to see them, like wanted them to see yeah, my entire absolutely. collection. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of what I was going to say. Um, I'm going to pretty much ignore the bottom shelves. I don't, I'm not going to judge based off that because everybody has different storage situations. But I can see two different areas where you have Tokyo Ghoul pops. I can see two different areas where you have Inuyasha pops. I do like the fact that you have the taller six inches on the sides and then the moments in the middle. I like that you organize them that way. But beyond that, there doesn't seem to be a lot of organization within it. Like there are some that are grouped together and then there's some that aren't. I don't know. Personally, I would wish to see it a little bit more organized. But besides that... I think you have an incredible collection. <laughs> one, one thing that bothers me a little bit is the Diablo, like the game cover behind there. You can't see it at all outside of the logo. Yeah, you probably could take the two pops in front of it and move it up. Yeah, but... to be honest, I think you could move that up and then so you can be able to see it. Or what you could do is I think three different game covers can fit on that shelf. So you could make that solely game covers. And then they have ha any others. Yeah, the game covers. They have... yeah. No, I'm just talking about if they get more. 
Oh, okay. If they make more games that you like, you could get three, I think it's three that will fit across there. Mm -hmm. And then I think they're wide enough to where you could put pops from that set out of box on top of them to fill that extra space. I think mm -hmm. that'd be really cool. So what, you're sticking out of six? Yeah, I'm gonna stick it out of six. And what did I say, 7.5? Yeah, I think so. I right, genuinely cool. don't remember. Six for her, 7.5 out of me, or for me. Next up, we do have Funko Alliance here. So the, the one thing I want to ask, and this this is, I don't know if you rent or something like that. The gray wall and the yellow wall. <laughs> what's going on with that? I like it. I, that person, like that. this again, I, I feel like I'm having a lot of OCD things in this. Personally, I, I just need the color. Like I, I need it to be a flat color. <laughs> no I can't, I can't have multiple colors like that. That would freak <laughs> me out. That's just me though. As far as like your display for your pops, ignoring the wall, I'm going to do my best. <laughs> you do have the pops out of box uh, up top, which is great. I'm assuming you're going to fill that in with other My Hair Academia characters as you mm -hmm. get them. In the box look really great. I would recommend maybe, or I personally would probably put an LED strip in there because it does look a little dark. That's understandable. But especially for like twice because you can't really see his torso too much. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, the display looks amazing. The out of box like Naruto and Jiraiya on the toads look amazing. I love I love that left picture. The second picture does does that look like a head swap with another character with the googly eyes or something? I have no idea. It has to be a head swap. They they haven't made a pop that look anyways. You do have some pops like out of box there, like Ara and Jiraiya, but I feel like they're blocked by all the boxes and things like that. Like you can't see certain characters there, like the Stitches Baker, and I think that's a Star Wars character. So a lot of this feels like just kind of like stored over there rather than displayed and you can't see every single character that's fair that's the only grab i have outside of like the mini moment blocking wally there because that's a fantastic really cool 10 inch pop mm -hmm. so i feel like maybe you could work around that maybe i'm not exactly sure but then again this goes down to storage things so i don't know the entire story mm -hmm. i'm gonna give this collection uh an 8.5 out of 10 personally just because of all the pops right there you can't i feel like you lose a lot of display points there and viewability points because you can't i feel like that's a good chunk of your collection and you can't mm -hmm. really see it what do you think yeah i think for the bottom right well first of all i love your collection it's fantastic i love that we're seeing some disney included i love disney and i like how you have naruto on the left bottom corner and then you have disney and then you have all mha on the top uh for your base bat, baseball bat i think that's what they normally are uh cases they look Great. I love that, and I love how you organized it. Um, I agree with the light thing, but again, it's all preference, and it's not always the easiest to do the lights inside of the baseball cases, so I'll leave it at that. Regarding the bigger cluster on the bottom right, something you could do, or something I suggest that you could do to kind of spruce it up a little bit, is take the six-inch pops, uh, the pop ride boxes, and use it to elevate Wally, so then he's above that a little moment in front of him, so you can see him a little bit better. And then you can take those two pops that are in the front, which that looks like it was an NFT. Yep. Is that correct? That's cool. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those in a picture yet and that two pack and put them towards the back and push some of those other ones back so then you're creating more of a stare effect and put those two out of box naruto pops um which you might also be able to just put up on your baseball cases uh you could put those on top of those boxes as well but besides that i really like your display i i would say if you want to display more of your collection it seems like you have a significant amount of marble i would say remove the wally out of box thing as well as the Naruto and Gamakichi and maybe the MHA up top and display certain sets across in box. That could work too. I feel like so it doesn't look as just stored over there and you can see multiple different figures. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to stick with an 8.5 out of 10. What was your rating? 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, that seems right. 8.5. Sweet. Next up, we do have Immortal Bandit here. I believe another one of my Discord slash Patreon members. First off, I really love the Gundam figures all across. I know those were probably really expensive too. The lights, I think, is that a lightsaber? I don't know if it's a lightsaber or just an LED. Bar. Something. Anyways, it looks kind of cool there. I feel like you would benefit more if it was an LED bar, putting it across the top, illuminating the figures at night. I think that would be really neat. Okay. But again, I don't really know what it is. The Gundam figures on the left and right look really cool. I will say the two in the middle... They look, it feels kind of random. I don't know if you get what I mean there. Like the female Titan, you have Attack on Titan, then Naruto, and then Goku in the middle. That might be, well, just, I was going to say maybe that's their anime shelf. It's, that it looks like mo the majority of their display is anime. Maybe they're just doing that as a space filler until they get another six inch pop. I think that's very possible. That's true. 
I'm not gonna dox you for that though. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you would benefit more than uh, from taking some of your taller Gundam figures and putting it fully across. And then you, for the smaller, like shorter ones that are kind of in action poses and crouch, I think you could get like a riser in the back to display them like that. I think just making that all Gundam and then maybe putting pops on the top will look great. As far as everything else, uh, you do have, I was going to say you have a mix in places, but you only have a certain amount of Attack on Titan and Bleach and Fire Force I'm seeing. So I think for the most part as a display, I think it's very neat. You can see just about every pop. I don't believe there's any pops behind pops. The bottom, again, it looks like that whole storage situation. You have some Nike boxes and then some stuff on top of the ramen bowl, like some cloths or something. I'm assuming you were dusting. I think I'm going to give yours overall an 8 out of 10 personally. What do you think? I'd give it a 7. I like how you have a lot of statues. I think they look great. I like that light bar right there. But beyond that, there isn't a whole lot of creativity that went into this. And that's what I'm really looking for when I'm rating these. So... I like the way you did. What? You got something to just say? Went, went straight in. There's not any creativity. Oh my god, he's got to laugh about this in the Discord. I also know that you're one of his Discord members, so if you can deal with this one, you can take anything. I say that with love. He's a fantastic Finish person. your rating. Finish your rating. There isn't just, there isn't a lot of visual interest besides the statues, is more so what I'm, what I'm saying. I'm not saying- What are you trying to say? I'm saying- you have some work to do. <laughs> I said it. Don't worry, guys. You're not the only one saying it. I'm saying it. You need to work on your display. This is your chance. Take the opportunity. No, and you go. guys are giving me. Whole, you, guys you guys are definitely giving me some it. really cool ideas. Do you want to see a video on it? Tell him that you want to see a video on it, and then he'll do you can it. Check out he'll do her, anything you can check, for the content. Oh, are you talking about a video of me doing my? Yeah. Oh. Anyways, though, mine was an 8 out of 10. Hers is, you said, 7? Seven. Seven. Next up, we do have James's collection here. So there is a lot of things going on. We have a lot of different figures. Light. I really love the straw hat on the side with next to the one piece. I think that's really awesome. The lights, like the LED lights under the TV looks great. Illuminates the TV. Cre it casts some like shadows too. Looks like a scary figure on that shadow. I will say, the though, you can't really see certain pops. Like the, I think those are like pop deluxes on either side, as well as the Deadpool versus Cable. You can't see those specific characters because all the pops across block them. But it looks like you're working with a certain amount of space because you do have a really a, a good amount of Funko Pops. Mm -hmm. I like the red LEDs in the middle there. And it looks like you have a majority of all those characters out of box, which looks really nice. And then the Zora One Piece mat is a really great addition. The pops on the Wait, floor. Hmm? I didn't see that. Oh, the mat? Yeah, that's dope. The pops on the floor kind of concerned me a little bit. I don't know if they were just there to be shown or if you're working them into the collection. Because, again, it feels like you are running into space issues here. I like the Sly Cooper on the left there up top. That looks cool. Then you have one of those individual ones and different characters out of box. The other one, the ones on the right, you can't really see those figures when you initially walk in. The Shinron out of box is great. You have a Seshimaru figure. Is that Seshimaru? How are I you can't see. <laughs> it's right there. Um. It's, it's for so me the six inch pop the dog the, the demon dog yeah i like what you were doing with the mix of out of box in box i think this is great i'm gonna go with because some characters are blocked in different areas i do feel like what? Uh, where up there i was talking about that oh that okay and i don't know if that's the same thing up there as well it might be hmm because I those don't look like one piece boxes based off the colors, yeah. so I don't think those are those characters. So I feel like uh, you're missing out on a lot of characters yeah. up top there. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a nine out of ten for this display because it is a beautiful display. I also love the wanted poster of I think that's Sanji in the background. What do you think? So because of organization reasons, I have to give it a nine. But because you have LEDs, I'm giving you a ten. Oh, okay. There oh. we go. That that's how it works. Is that all you have to say? If you have LEDs, you have won my heart. <laughs> that's like can't. Uh, yes, you I can't just give bonus yes, points I out can. every time for LEDs. Watch me. Okay. All right. It's too late in the video. Nine out of <laughs> nine for me, ten for her. Next up we do have Jasmine's a collection here. I feel like you're gonna give an extra rating because of the rose in the middle there. I actually gave her one of these a long time ago, about a year ago, I think. So amazing collection i am noticing some pops behind pops though uh, next to the rose and the beauty and the beast there i think some of them are kind of like pushed in the back so viewability 
not for every single pop, but since it's only a few, we're not going to dock you there at all. Um, well, I feel like there's, I feel like there are pops behind pops because look up there behind Eddie. Yeah. So we can't see your entire collection, but I'm just going to let you have that one because you do have a <laughs> really cool display. I like the Pokemon. I like the fact that you use one of the tens to display Mr. Mime up top. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. The Harry Potter display down there is really cool. I feel like, I think that... It kind of looks like Bell Bellatrix Lestrange down there. I'm not exactly sure if that's her. She kind of gets blocked by the pocket pop on looking at it from this way, but it's okay. I think you have more shelves, I think, on the right there because I see Yzma. I love the pictures in the middle. You have Power Rangers and I think Attack on Titan. I, I think it's Attack on Titan. I'm going to go with a 9.5 out of 10 for this one. 9.5. I feel like that's accurate. Well... Hmm, I'm so conflicted because you have so many really cool elements, but then there's also areas that are very standard. And I feel like it was the same for the last one where I don't, I'm also trying to not be biased because I like a lot of the things that you have in your display. Like the falcon is freaking sick. So is Appa. So is the rose. I'm trying not to be biased. What did I say? 9.5 out of 10? Yeah. It was almost so a 10. I, there's so many areas where I can really tell you're being intentional, though. So, I'm, because of all of those areas, I'm giving you a nine. Oh, that feels, like, so low. Because, personally, I just, I love all of it. I want to give it, like, a 50. But <laughs> I feel like, to be fair with what I've said in the past, like, there's still some work that can be done which is very exciting. I love working on my display constantly. It never stays the same for more than a week. I'm excited to see what you do with it, and I'm going to give it a 9. 9.5 for me. Next up, we do have Duran's collection here. So right off the bat, I love the Big Bang Theory pops. You have the entire set of the SCCC exclusives. I think that's really cool right there. <gasps> yes! Of all the characters as different heroes. I like the different characters up top there, as well as the Ratchet and Clank on the side. Yu-Gi-Oh! are really cool. I think, though, I, I'm not sure if these are two back based off the Star-Lord. It looks pushed back, and I feel like I can see a pop under him, kind of. I think there's pops behind pops, so you can't exactly see the full collection here, mm -hmm. I do feel like. I think I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10, personally, because I don't know, as far as, like, display, I don't feel like there's, like, you know, like a wow going on. I think you have a really great amount of pops mm -hmm. and a really, really cool characters, but I don't know if I'm, like... You know, kind of have like have my Spider-Man out of box, and you can see the box in the back, the characters, all the detail. Those. Oh, those, yeah. <laughs> so, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with a seven point five out of ten. What do you think? Seven, mainly because of the way you organize some of them. I I don't mind some of them being behind others. If you want to have the one, one if you have limited space, and two if you only want to display like very specific ones, but you want a complete line, for instance, Naruto, there's so many of those that I feel like that's a definitely one that you can justify it. Same for Dragon Ball. Well, actually, I, I kind of agree with you because the it feels weird to not have the two eating noodles characters on top. It, mm -hmm. Like they wanted a full row, yeah. but you but it feels weird because you could take like, for example, the two Naruto characters you have down here mm -hmm. and fit them up there. And then yeah. take the four six inch Yu-Gi-Oh pops and put them next to the other ones. Mm -hmm. I I'm not. It it's mostly, but I do like that you have all of your Yu-Gi-Oh in one place. And same, or I was gonna say for Naruto as well, but like you could probably adjust it a little bit. It also depends on if you just wanted to make sure you were filling the whole shelf. Because if that was what you wanted to do, that's fantastic. You accomplished that. For me, I care a lot about symmetry for the bottom shelf it works pretty well because you have like four big pops on the right and four big pops on the left but the top shelf isn't the same for me and I'm not sure if that top is uh if your ceiling is slanted or whatnot but personally what I would do for instance the big bangs theory set you have one two three four five pops I would have three on the bottom and two on top so then it's kind of like a pyramid thing and then you could do a similar thing with Dragon Ball uh, pretty much if you ever have like an uneven number of pops and it just makes it seem a little bit more intentional and less just like in a line and this is where I have it stored kind of thing so for creativity and whatnot on that did I already give it a score you said seven 
Yeah, I would, I would stick with seven. Mine's 7.5. Next up, we do have Kevin's collection here. So I, I think these are these Billy. Are those those Billy ones that we were talking about? Because with the pop on the side, I think yeah, it is because that. I feel like it was, it's kind of weird with the gap in the middle for display. Not something, bit. not something I personally would do, but like when you kind of look at it, it feels kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't know if you were being intentional with different things, but there's like some Demon Slayer over here and then yeah, some Demon Slayer over here. I'm not exactly sure what was going on with that. And then I think there's like Naruto up here and Naruto down here. The manga looks really good. Right up there the kakashi up there like it, it feels kind of all over the place for like as far as like matching the different collections the and then you have some naruto over there as well so and then you have pops by pops so you can't see all of your collection personally i'm gonna give this one a 6.5 out of 10 i feel like you, i feel like i think you probably have a lot that you want to do with this and you're slowly figuring out how you want to display it yeah but yeah i think i'm gonna go with a 6.5 out of 10 what do you think exactly the same response pretty much yeah 6.5 yeah okay next up we do have carmen's collection here so this one's actually really cool they have a great mix of different characters i really like the fact that i think they took the disc set for how i met your mother and used that as a razor right there for the pops i think that was really cool and then the naruto in the middle looks great some of the led lights going down the pole star wars up top and then this looks like their entire marvel shelf the only thing I will say, it feels kind of weird with the two or the two or three Spider-Man pops up top. And then you have the one random Spider-Man down or the two yeah. Spider-Man there. And then because the only reason I say this is that you have Loki all matching in the corner. Oh, and on that bottom white shelf right there, there's, there's Spider-Man versus Venom. I feel like you could almost make one shelf Spider-Man if you got like two yeah. or three more figures. So it feels jumbled over here, but I don't I don't know exactly how you decided to mix up these different characters. Because the reason I was saying is because you have in-game all throughout the top. Then you have Loki on the side there. Mm -hmm. And then you have Scarlet Witch just in the middle randomly. It feels out of place, maybe. But yeah. you only have one figure of her, so I'm not going to fault you for that one. And then you have like the two Hawkeye Pops, Eternals, Shang-Chi, and then Spider-Man and like all that. So it feels a little randomized, but if it works for you, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. And then you have like the plushies and Star Wars down there. And then like, I like the dragon ride with Ron, Harry and Hermione. So I think I'm going to give this one a solid 8.5 out of 10. Personally, I like the out of box display. Personally, I'm going to give it a nine. Oh yeah. Half point because I know I'm giving halves and fulls, whatever. Half point because of the LED. Actually, sorry to cut you off. <laughs> I want to bump it up 0.5 because I love How I Met Your Mother. I love the show. I love that you have all the characters from it and that you use the the box set for the site. I'm going to give it a 9 as well. Okay. I like how some areas you have multiple levels and then other areas are a little... They look like they're a work in progress and you might be getting more later on and you can definitely do more with it. So there's a lot of potential for, for instance, that white shelf that you have. Something you could do is move Shang-Chi over to where Spider-Man is and swap it and then move Hawkeye over so that more of your Spider-Man could be together because it doesn't look like those are for any specific movies, I don't think. Those two Marvel... No, they're No Way Home, right? I'm not sure. Or not No Way Home, but one of the homes that Spider-Man has. There's like four or five. No, I don't that even know anymore. Those are No Way Home. The bottom the, right are no way home. Yeah, but no, I'm talking about those. Oh, that looks like the first Doctor Strange pop. No, all the way up at the top left. Oh, those. Yeah. <laughs> I think one's from Homecoming and... No, I think those are both from Homecoming. Oh, it might be in chronolo <laughs> chronological order of when they came out. I have no clue. I don't know. Regardless, it's a fantastic collection. And I love the way you did it. I like the way you have it organized so far. And I'm excited to see what you do next with it. So nine, right? Nine. Okay, one thing though, bring Evie with his family. <laughs> or I don't know if Evie's a boy or a girl. Anyways, bring Evie with their family. Where, why are they away from all the, po the Pokemon? Why? Next up, we do have Louisie. Lu Luzi? Some, I, I'm sorry I, I butchered your name. So here, I think we're running into the display thing, similar to mm -hmm. the other persons where they had them all in the like corner, mm -hmm. I think closet or something like that. You can see the box art. You know what the characters are, but you can't see any details. You can't yeah. see the characters. And like Mikasa, for example, the one one of the one pops you have facing forward on the bottom is blocked by Mikasa. Death Note light there. So yeah, I, I feel like you lose a lot of visibility and viewability points here. 
I love the row going across. I think that looks really cool. The sign pops are really cool or the Mikasa sign is nice. A lot of rare pre-releases. I think I'm going to probably give you a bump up point because you do have some rare pre-releases there. I was going to give this one a 5 out of 10, but I'm going to give you a 6 out of 10 because of the really cool pops you have. Exact same thing. Oh, cool. Next up, we do have a Lutz's collection here. So they have a very premium out-of-box display, and it looks like they got a fancy new TV with the plastic still all around it. Yeah. So I love all of my hair. That just shows how much My Hair Academia and, like, Naruto is. That's so crazy. So much. <laughs> it looks really cool as you go along, and it does look like you did it by character. Like, or by, mm -hmm. like, you have Uchiha's. Um, well, you have Itachi, you have Naruto, then you have uh, Sasuke, which I thought was really cool. And then all the My Hero Academia characters, you have some Marvel and like 10-inch pops mixed up over there. You have two of the bookcases with multiple different characters. Basically, you used this display to your advantage here, especially yes. with the glass cases. It looks amazing. I really, really like this. I think this is probably one of the... I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10, personally. Yes. 10 out of 10. I love how creative... like. It's just, this is awesome. I love it. I haven't really seen a lot of people use the 10 inch pops or are they 10 or six? I think it depends. Those, they're 10. Um, in the middle and then put pops around it. I think that looks really cool. It kind of blocks some of the ones behind it, but you can easily just kind of scoot those over to the right a little bit and that solves that problem. But they, it, this Well, all those fantastic. are out of box from the ones back there. Oh. So. Yeah. So regardless. It looks fantastic, great job, extremely creative, and I love it. Next up, we do have Max Attacks collection here. So, we're going into the whole display thing. Viewability, you can see everything. As far as, like, neatness and everything, I'm, I'm going to dock some points for, like, the safety thing. Also, because of the fact that I, I feel like this is one of those situations, again, where they put all their collection out so we can yeah. see everything. So I'm not sure if that was uh, the situation or because that feels like a closet right there. So what if you need to get into that closet? Yeah. Then you have to pull everything down, literally, mm -hmm. like literally 90% of the collection be able to open that closet. So there's not much of display going on here. It kind of just looks like they're tucked away on one of the walls, which is totally fine. If you don't mm -hmm. have bookshelves, you can't afford bookshelves. I like all the characters you have going on. I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Master of the Universe. I think that's really great. I'm personally going to give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10, just a little bit over a half score. That's just me. I don't know if she's would change anything. I'd give it a five. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else to say? No, you pretty much covered everything. Awesome. Next up, we do have Michael's collection here. So, wow, this this is really really awesome. It is it me or do those the bleach and like Naruto here? Do they look like they're kind of leaning forward? I don't know if it's the camera lens or if they're leaning forward. It could be both. I feel like, I feel like, unfortunately, the the bottom the bottom one. Mm. Well, I would just say you can't really see it because the pop Giyu blocks off that character, and then the out of box ones they get blocked off right here. Yeah. Personally, if I were to change it, I would just get some floating shelves and put them over here in this empty space that you have above a little Wayne instead of putting them there because you're getting some characters blocked off and i feel like it messes with the overall display but also also i can understand wanting to fill that space because it does look a little awkward you could probably get some really small prints line them along the walls of different mm -hmm. anime characters i think that'd be really nice or maybe just do one row of pops in like individual like stand well that or you could do that one row of pops but do only out of box pops that too. So like some of those really expensive ones that like we would never take out of box, find them for like 50% off or more out of box on eBay or something like that and just throw them on like a small acrylic shelves there. That would also look dope. <laughs> as far as like neatness a little bit, you, you are getting kind of like, it feels a little dangerous over here because you have like the six inch pops off centered with the oh. four inch pops and the Naruto versus Sasuke in the middle there. And then you kind of have the gap over there. So I feel like, it's like dangerous. I feel like there's a lot of weight on that hanging shelf as well with the pops because all those pops weigh various things. Hopefully you have it screwed into the wall. That's I I, I, I just say. feel like there's a lot of weight and I feel like you would benefit like especially like over there as well because there's I don't know how strong these are. I've never bought them. It just personally to me it would concern me a little bit but I love the out of box like displays of pops in there. The Full Metal Alchemist, Fire Force, all the Naruto characters. Great. 
all the avatar optimus prime like great uses of space i think again you would benefit from some led strips in there and really brightening up those pops yeah. i feel like on the right there you get into the neatness situation and again like the little danger zone because you have like pops on the sides there you have them sideways you can't really see certain characters and i feel like some are behind other ones that you can't see frieza's kind of tipped over so i think because this side's so great i'm gonna give it a nine I, that I well, think I, that or an 8.5. I think I'm going to give 8. it 8. 5. 5. I think I'm going to go with an 8.5. Yeah, I think because of the neatness yeah. on this side, I'm going with the 8.5 as well. Next up, we have Ortiz's collection here. So this is really great, really neat. I love the comic covers and the game covers in the middle there. I don't know what that symbol is in the middle. Do you know what that is? I do not. I'm guessing it's a game. Possibly. But I love the fact that you have so much room for so many other ones. It's going to look so cool. It's going to cool. look really cool all around. I think it's going to be awesome. Everything looks great. You can practically see every character. Uh, outside of that one bottom shelf, it looks a little empty. It looks incomplete. So incomplete, far. like compared to or the other Or they're kind of using their, it for their spares or something. That's possible. I think I'm going to go with the 9.5 out of 10 for this one. Actually... I want to give it a 10 out of 10. I'm not going to fault you for the bottom ones. I'm going to give you a 10 out of 10 because I really like the comic covers in the middle. Yeah, and especially like once you get more, it's going to look fantastic. I also see that you have some other figures way over to the right there. I think that's really cool. You're rating? 10. 10? 10. 10 all around. Next up, we do have Otto's collection here. So I really like the awesome mix of like Naruto, One Piece. Yes as well as Full Metal Alchemist, Death Note, Hunter x Hunter, seeing a lot of different animes here, Evangelion. Personally, I'm going to give it a 5 because it's not as dynamic as a lot of the other things that we've seen today. I think that the pops that you have in your collection, though, are awesome. I think, is that Death Note over there? Yeah, L, yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. And, like, we could give it bonus points simply for that alone. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to give it a 5. I'm sorry, I feel like that might be harsh, but... <laughs> I would... I... I feel the same way. However, I'm going to give you a bonus point. I'm going to give you a whole point because you have Alex Armstrong there and I like his character. I find it <laughs> funny. And that's definitely one of the more rare Full Metal Alchemist pops. So six out of 10 for me. Next up, we do have Paco pops and she's going to go nuts with all ten. the LED. <laughs> yep. 10. I'm not even letting you finish talking. I'm saying it. I like it. And I don't care what you have to say because <laughs> there's LEDs and there's so many just uh, characters. I... I'm guessing this is what you're going to say. There's some organization things they could switch around in there. They have the six inch ones up top on the side and you can't see them. So the viewability don't care. It's a 10. Did I get it right? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a 10 as well. I think this is very creative. Uh, creative. I think you, I think you put a lot of work into it and a lot of money into yes. it and you put a lot of thought into it. Where did you get that shot? Uh, the only thing that, what, why is there a gap there? That's... I'm guessing there's just uneven, it's an uneven amount of space, so there has to be gaps okay. in certain places if you're going to have them on the side. Yeah, we're, we're going to go for a 10 out of 10 on this one. Next up, we do have Richard's collection here. So I'm kind of noticing the space filler here thing with the boxes up top left. It makes it feel like out of place. I don't, I don't know if that's the right way I'm saying that, but you know, kind of notice the, and then the cactus plant. It feels, I think it's a storage thing. Uh, yeah, I, th I feel like it's a storage situation. So I don't, I'm not doing, I'm doing my best to not dock people on that because people mm -hmm. have to storage things or store things, excuse me. I like the pocket watch. I like the Zoro figure. I think that's really cool. I like the display overall. I like the mix of anime figures in there. I think I'm personally going to go with an eight out of 10. I think I'm going to go with an eight. What do you think? I'm going to go with a seven. Mainly because it is a really great display. I like how you're starting to use some six inch pops as base stands for some of your other figures. And I think that's a great starting point. And I think that there's a lot of other things you can do with this to make it even cooler. So I'm excited to see what you do next. Next up, we have Selvin's collection here. So, uh, okay, so we're getting in the danger zone a little bit here because I'm really worried about your pops with the TV. It's like very like right on it. And I feel like if the wall mount ever gives out for some reason, that's fair. <laughs> Boy, those are going to be crushed. Oh my gosh. I feel like you would benefit more if you went, I think, three high, personally. And then you maybe put the sound bar on top of the pops or on the bottom of the pops and have them sitting on top of it. 
but I don't know how big that sound bar is or how wide it is. Mm-hmm. But you have the pops out of box here. I feel like it blocks a lot of the pops on the bottom row. So I feel like, and then you have the light in front and then it looks like some thumbtacks or something like that. I feel like all of those pops are just blocked. I like the Tokyo Ghoul manga down there. I like the diecast Boba Fett. He's kind of hard to see in the dark, but it still looks pretty cool. The little minis, the Gyu and Dobby figures are really nice. I think personally, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 as well as the last one, like similar to the last one, but that's just me. What do you think? I'm going to give it a 7 because you have some that are out of box and I like the way that they're highlighted on the bottom. For instance, Kakashi Perfect Susano and I think that's Locked Kurama. So I really like those, but beyond that, yeah, I'd give it a 7. Next up we do have Shaw's Collection. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I'm so sorry if um, I pronounced that wrong. Last time I pronounced it wrong, they told me. So we're going to see this time. Anyways though, so their collection here. I'm noticing some display issues here right off the bat. And the reason I say that is because the keychain boxes on the right there, mm. it feels it feels like it just messes up the whole display situation. Then you have a lot of like t-shirt bundles back there, a lot of pops behind pops, and they feel kind of crammed into the corner. It just feels kind of like all over the place up top a little bit. And then if you look in the display cases, like over there next to Sasha and Female Titan, you have that weird gap with Levi on top. Um, so I don't feel like that space was fully used to its full capacity personally. The sign pops look great. You have a really, really awesome collection. I love it. You have a lot of great ones. Stone Cold Steve Austin down there. A lot of rare ones. Some really cool Sailor, you have like a little Sailor Pluto, I think, down there. Sailor Moon is really cool. I'm personally going to, I'm going to say a 6 out of 10. It yeah, feels a little cluttered. Fair. I don't know if you feel the same way. Yeah, it looks like this person didn't have a lot of storage uh, space, so I'm sorry. But yeah. That's an, that's an accurate number okay. score. Six out of ten. Next up, we do have Slothetti here, also one of my Discord members and the fastest sloth in the world, if you did not know. Fun fact. So, Slothetti, if you don't know, very big Flash fan, loves the Flash, has every single one in the set, I believe. So 100% Holy complete there, unless they make more. Actually, I think he's waiting on the NFT one, and then it's mm-hmm. complete. A lot of great Flash figures, like OG ones, action figures outside of the box, which is really cool. Some Flash sodas, and then you have all kinds of different dwarves and all kinds of figures. The Reverse Flash, I love that. Oh man, there's so many cool things to look at here. I love the Deku and Bakugo figures, AOT rare ones, My Hero Academia all across the board. Mm-hmm. I even like the little Yoshi figure. I think I'm going to go... I'm giving you a half point because of the reverse Dallas Flash. I love that pop. I, I love the fact. I love that sticker on as well. I'm giving you a 9.5 out of 10. What do you think? Hmm. She's going to give you a 4 sloth. No. I'm not giving you a 4. Hmm. So, like, there's... It's one of those collections that a lot of it is kind of simple, and then a lot of it has a lot of different range in it where you're playing with depth and having different kind of characters or figures mixed in with it, which I really, really like. So I'll give you a nine. I like it. Oh, pretty close. Next up, we do have Spectra here. So Spectra is one of my subscribers. He, uh, really great dude. He's always constantly sending me different autographs that are going on for like, he sent me, I think the WandaVision or the Wanda one for Scarlet Witch. Uh, possibly for Bailey, he sent me a couple different ones, but Scarlet Witch was the most recent, I think. Now, I'm no, I'm giving him a bonus point here right off the bat for all the amazing autographs he has, so like many. Catwoman. Oh, I'm so yeah. jealous of Arya <laughs> Stark from Game of Thrones. Sylvie, that's a really big one. Nightcrawler, Harley Quinn, beautiful autograph. Probably one of the best ones in this video um, so far, for sure. I love it. Darth Maul is really cool. A lot of rare pops here, a lot of value here in this corner. As far as display, you know, it's just kind of them just sitting there. I'm a little worried about the pops stacked from the floor up on the right there. I won't lie. This, yeah. The the lightsabers are really cool. The pictures on the side are really cool. I think personally, I am I was going to give it an 8, but I'm going to bump it up to a 9 because of the really awesome autographs. Yeah. If we're talking about creativity and everything like that, I would give it a 5, honestly. <laughs> gonna be straight up it's kind of just a wall of pops however because of the lightsabers and because of the graphics over on to the left and because of all your signatures i gotta give you at least an eight my man because it's just freaking sick it's really really cool it's so cool and 
you can't look at this and not be impressed. For real. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm impressed and jealous. At least an eight, if not a nine. Like, it's it's so cool. So, so uh, I'm going with a nine. My my heart. I guess that would make an 8.5, but I feel like it should be a 10. <laughs> Well, we have to be it's fair. It's like a jealousy card kind yeah, of thing. We have, we have to still be fair, even how wild we well, are. what if I don't want to be? Uh, 8.5. I'm sorry. Next up, we do have Stay True's collection here. Love the wall scrolls and the LED lights. I think they're really cool. I feel like the orange is very, very bright, though. Maybe like a cooler color, like purple or like a, a light blue. I think blue. it's more so the brightness than the color. They could turn dim them a little bit. Oh, okay. I will say the, the storage thing. I feel like I keep talking about this, but on the bottom... It feels very cluttered down there. Yeah, I think it's a storage thing, though, so we could probably okay. just look past Now, there's a lot of pops stuff. behind pops here. Like, we're seeing some on the side there, and then we're seeing the six-inch pops in the middle. Mm -hmm. I like the creativity, though, of filling the space because yeah. you wanted to put in the six-inch pops. You have some out of box up top as well and some, like, statue figures. I don't fully know what's going on on top of the other shelf. I don't know what that is. I think I there's think a Batman figure and some Bakugo figures. It looks like a scene. I think so, yeah. I want to see it. <laughs> a lot of different things going on on the shelf. I think overall, I'm personally going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. What do you think? I am going to give it an 8. I was originally going to give it a 7 because there are certain areas that are kind of just like straight boxes. But I think I think actually also... I think I'm going to drop it down to an 8. I think I'm going to do an 8 out of 10 for this one because there's so many pops behind other pops. Yeah. That I you think... can't see a lot of your collection. It's true. I think some of it's just a space thing but like even with that though you still you added led lights you have the scrolls you have some stuff on top and you took some out of box so i can tell that you're still really trying to make it interesting even with the limited amount of space that you have so i gotta give you that next up we do have stevens or Steppens. i'm not exactly sure how you pronounce your name but i'm noticing a lot of display things going on here i feel like these pops are also two back because of Carnage, you do have like, I think a moment or like a deluxe Thanos. I think that's what that pop is behind the other pop. And then you have some pops down there behind. So you can't see all of your collection. And then as far as like display overall, I feel like there's a lot going on. There are sorter boxes up top, double sorter boxes. You have some of the Marvel Collector Core boxes back there. And then you have like Vision all the way in the corner next to a pop, like a um, sorter box. And then the same thing kind of going on with the 10 inch Boba Fett. I feel like display it. I th it also, I feel like there's a lot of dust also that's going to get all of your pops for this. I I think I got to give it a 5 out of 10 here personally because uh, I feel like a lot of points are lost for display. Then you lose some points for viewability as far as things and neatness as well. There's just, there's a lot going on personally. Do I love all the pops you have? Am I super jealous of all the Marvel ones, especially the Iron Man 3 pops? So, my God, so <laughs> jealous of all those rare. Like, you have such rare pops there, it's not even yeah. funny. So, if it was determined on how rare your collection is, it would be a 10 out of 10. But as far as, like, all the other categories, I got to go with a 5 personally. What do you say? Okay. Next up, we do have Tippid Collector here. I, I... <laughs> 50 it's so pretty oh it, it's God. very bright it's, it's very pretty i think we have another like 11 out of 10 here if this was everything in your collection i'm not exactly sure if you guys don't know this was officially shared by funko as well yes. because they loved it so much so i'm gonna give this an 11 out of 10 i think it was very creative uh why do i keep saying creative like that <laughs> creative and then you have the demon slayer box set behind it creating a demon slayer box uh or background then you have the two pop protectors hoisting up all the other pops and then the tree like the cherry blossom tree in the back and the little mini swords 11 out of 10 for me and 50 from her apparently next up we do have tykes collection here so Love the prints all over the wall. I think it really opens up the room. I love the fact that you have multiple different anime characters, some signed like uh, One Punch Man characters of Genos as well as Saitama. You have the I, the U2's boxes in the corner. I feel like I feel like maybe you could put like a solo shelf there and then display some really cool things there, but I'm not going to fault you for the space thing. Jurassic Park, I love the fact that you took about a box and matched it with the movie poster. That is really cool. And then you have like all the Halo pop. I feel like you would, uh, I think it'd be really cool if you took a Halo poster and set a Groot in the middle there and put it in the middle and then maybe spaced out the other shelves to fit like a really cool poster there. That would look really cool with the Halo pops. I love the Xbox 360s on either side. I think that's awesome. And then the energy sword on the side too, out of box is really great. I think I'm going to go with a... I'm 
I'm feeling like a 9 point. No, I'm feeling like a 10 out of 10. I think the display all over is really cool. I think I'm going with a 10 out of 10 because I love the Jurassic Park thing. I was going to go with a 9 or 9.5, but I'm going to be a bonus point because of the Jurassic Park matching. I think that's so cool. And like, the, I think those are little Lego figures. I love it. I don't know. I, I really like this. This is what I wish mine kind of looked like. But I would change some things, of course. But Yeah. Think? I think personally because I've changed some things, I'm giving it a 9 just because for the things that are in box, I feel like, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little harsh. I don't know. If you feel like a 9, meet it in the middle, 9.5. 9.5. Next up, we do a Vexing Lion here. I am noticing that the Ren Goku up there is kind of blocking the pop, like, immediately. That's, like, one of the first things that catches my eyes. So you can't see, I think that's the Sword Art Online Kirito, based off the color of the box, the little logo, and then the FYE sticker. I, I do like the pixelized, like, little anime characters, though. Like, the Todoroki down there, I think that's cool. I feel like the 10-inch All Might there blocks some characters back there. Yeah. So... You can't really see all of them, and there's definitely some pops behind these pops, seeing with the Chrome All Might shelf right there. I think I'm going to personally give it a 7 out of 10 for me. Just because you have some out of box, I'll give you... There's none out of box. I, I thought there are. They have the pixelized characters. Those aren't. Oh, no, those aren't pops. No, yeah, those aren't pops. I'm going to give it a 6. Really? What? Yeah, because like there isn't a whole lot of... I get what you mean. It's, it's just kind of like a still, bookshelf and yeah. then some on the thing. Yeah. I'm going to seven. She's going to six. Next up, we do have Wei Kuo, I think is how you pronounce it. So I'm noticing a lot of pops behind pops. So I feel like half your collection are behind pops, kind of similar to mine. So we run into that viewability thing where you can't see n literally half of your collection, I feel like. And then you have kind of like some empty spaces down there and then the six inch pops up there. And then you can briefly see the two pack of Demon Slayer back there. Pops on the side, but again, that's just the type of shelf, so you can't be faulted for that. A lot of pops behind, a lot of pops up there for the Mickeys. And then the boxes, I feel like I feel like the t-shirt boxes, I think those are all new as well, I think. Hmm. I feel like it messes up with the pop display a little bit. Like, I would personally put them on the bottom, or I would use them to bring in color throughout your display. So then you have like pops of color to kind of give you more visual interest instead of just having straight kind of wall of pops but you know if that's your thing i your thing? i think for view for a lot of viewability issues because i see a lot of pops behind pops three back i think i'm gonna go with a seven out of ten personally i'm gonna give you you said seven yeah. seven is good one especially because you have the colossal titan signed there which is really cool but yeah seven well guys those are the 50 subscriber collections i have for you today let me know down below if you did enjoy this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future i always love doing these videos because it gives me a chance to get to know you guys more based off what you collect now there is a name or instagram handle in every single photo so let me know down below which was your favorite collection with that though that's everything for this video i do want to say a big shout out to all the patreon supporters of the channel thank you guys so much i really do appreciate your love and support if you guys want to check out the patreon the link is down below we have a patreon only discord that we share a lot of information and in, updates restock links and much more a lot of cool parts to that we also have a facebook group with over 14,000 members that's buy sell and trade and you can make a ton of friends as well as be following me on all my social medias all at skittle rampage for more updates all right love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye